Hello everybody and welcome back to BrickCraft. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a duct tape laptop case, but really you can use this uh, tutorial for anything. You could make a Kindle case, you can make a iPad um, case. I wouldn't suggest for the iPod because it's too small, but uh, let's get on to all of the materials that you're going to need for this tutorial. Of course you're going to need a exacto board or something to cut on. That way you don't cut through the floor or your desk. And, oh, I wanted to show you my cute little feet pajamas I'm wearing. Yes, I'm trying to be comfy while I'm doing this. So anyway, um, you're going to need the board, the cutting board. And then you're going to need an envelope, like a, a bubble mailer, and a Sharpie. And you're also going to need the duct tape that you want to use. And I'm going to use the zebra for this. Scissors, of course and your exacto knife. I have a nice little case for mine, I just wanted to show you the case. And then whatever you're going to be doing your case for, I'm doing mine for my mini, my my Mac, uh, not my mini, my air, sorry. This one should be called the, the mini. So the thing you need the Sharpie is for is, um, I like to use old things. I demonstrated that you can actually rip it off, but I find it easier just to cross out all of the names. So next you're just going to measure whatever item that you want to make the case for and then go ahead and cut down the size. And then you're going to cut the sides off so that it opens up, you know, the little fringy side thing. See? So it opens up like that. Do both sides. And so it opens up like that, and then now go ahead and cover the front and the back with duct tape. Okay, so once you are done duct taping both sides, you are going to have to make the creases so it'll shut. And uh, you can just put tape on the outside to shut it, or you can do what I'm doing, and I'm doing the inside and the outside. So um, the length of my laptop happens to be the length of the board itself, so I just cut out two pieces the length of the board. They don't have to be completely even um, on the edges because they're going to be hidden. And what I do to make this easy is I just fold it up halfway, like I'm doing right here, as you can see. And then I stick the side that's being taped underneath, and then press down the tape. As soon as I get it all even, I'll press down the tape. And then I fold over the other half and I connect that to the piece. So do that on both sides and it may be hard. It is kind of hard to get it to go in and you're gonna have a little sticky showing still but that's okay because we're going to put a piece on the outside as well. Okay, now that you will have the insides done, um, cut two pieces the length of the board again. Well, I am. Whatever the length of your outside is. So I'm doing that again. And then we're going to put the duct tape on the outside. And this one's a 
I do it about the same as I do the inside, but it's a little trickier because you kind of have to make it even over the little flap. It adds a little extra dimension that you have to add. And don't worry if it doesn't go the whole way up and it doesn't look nice at the top where the opening is because we will be doing a trim there next. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the trim and I'm cutting two more pieces at 12 inches because I want it to overlap that way it doesn't show so I'm just flip that one piece over and I'm putting it as far as I want it to go and then I wrap the sides around and fold the duct tape into the laptop case. So now you have a really cute laptop sleeve. You could put um, braided strands of duct tape on the edge if you want to add a handle, but for this one I just wanted a sleeve so I could stick it in a bag. And I know it's a little bit bigger than my laptop um, length or width wise, but I think it's really cute. So thanks for watching guys.